Cause I'll be sparking and rushing mad like inside the dark Call me no snatcher, just a brother for the rapture I hang live, hold it on strong, hard to capture Extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant And I react like a con and start killing It's manifesting, the guards work like appliances Dealing in my sleep like a lot before we go any further, just want to say today's video is going to be brought to you by Fandomion. If you want to buy some really awesome anime merch from My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, and Haiku, and so many other anime, I recommend using my link in the description box to check them out. And there's free worldwide shipping on orders over $39. You'll also get an additional 5% off using my promo code down below. For any of you guys who might be interested or on the fence, I highly recommend checking out the website. Pay attention to the size chart. That'll be the biggest thing I would tell you guys. But with that being said, Seth, let's jump back into today's video. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here. And today I wanted to give you guys a follow-up to the events of Boruto chapter 70 and look at something that is a major elephant in the room now that Code has gotten his limiters removed and ascended beyond Jigen's power level. Amato, our favorite mad scientist who was able to take living humans and turn them into being strong enough to fight against Naruto and Sasuke and in the case of Code, surpass the power of an Otsutsuki vessel, a motto for his big brain as he appears to be. It looks like he's made a major miscalculation, which means that somebody can look at a motto and say, look fam, you ain't as smart as you think. There isn't a verbal kill switch that can be used on Code like he did with Delta, or rather, as things are in the manga right now, it does not appear that there actually is one. From the moment that a motto shut down Delta before he defected to Konoha, Kashin Kone Koji worriedly thought to himself, does this mean that Amato pre-programmed something like that into the ninja tech inside of his body? And ever since then, people have been asking that question over and over. Why did Amato only stop with Delta? Why didn't he program something like that into all of the car inner members? After all, every car inner member, including Jigen, had ninja tech placed inside of their bodies to augment their powers via the nanotech that Amato uses that affects the body on a cellular level. If he did did something like that with Delta, why would he not do that with all the other inner members? Why not do that to Jigen's body and find some way to contain him without killing him so Ishiki Otsutsuki, who was physically alive inside of Jigen, wouldn't actually be resurrected because Jigen wouldn't have died? Well, until we get some type of a data book for Boruto that gives us all the details for a lot of these questions that the Boruto manga has, or until we get some type of a motto guide and flashback set of chapters like how Naruto's manga did for Kakashi, explaining how Kakashi got the Sharingan for the first time, we're not going to have a full answer just yet. However, based upon what we do know, we can draw on a few conclusions here. If Amato would have already had something like that programmed in the code, he could have issued a verbal command the moment the code tried to attack him in his lab when Shikamaru was there. However, he didn't do such a thing. If one such command truly existed, Ada would have told him as much because Ada already knew the specifics on how to get code's limiters removed by Amato. The only way she doesn't reveal that information is if she's secretly been in cohorts with Amato the entire time, which doesn't appear to be the case one bit at all because she directly stated that she wanted to kill Amato for altering her body to a point where she can't experience true love relationships because her power is on 24 7 and as Amato said even Ada can't actually control her powers when it comes to catching the hearts of everyone who's around her who isn't blood related or in Osuski. The other thing of note is that Amato during all that time he was shaking in the presence of Ada, never gave the verbal command to shut Ada off. Maybe it was due to the fact that this is the way her abilities work, where doing physical harm to the point of something lethal will cause your mind to destroy itself, but I'm doubting this is the case here. I don't think he had a verbal command for Ada like he did with Delta. This is purely conjecture on my part, but is it really that crazy to think that the moment Ishiki saw Amato had installed a shutdown order into Delta that Ishiki did not then turn around and order Jigen to tell Amato not to install such a thing into himself and the other car in her members. That might explain why there were two scientific minds, brilliant scientific minds, inside the car in her organization. Victor was a scientist and Amato was a scientist. And with Victor being there, it could have been used as a means of a checks and balance measure against Amato. After all, Victor, upon seeing such a thing being done to Delta, would have had added incentive to make sure that Amato didn't do such a thing to him. And 
he would have happily complied with the order that Ishiki gave to Jigen. That would also explain why Amato had to go sneaky, underhanded ways of framing Victor for the blimp crash that will release Kawaki out into the wild and why he would use the opportunity of the chaos that ensued afterwards in order to start doing maintenance on the ninja tech inside the car and a member's bodies. Work that Delta said was affecting her combat abilities because Delta noticed there was something wrong with her body. However, that brings us to the same point. Why didn't he program a shutdown code in the code if that would have been the case? It's a question we won't fully know the answer to again until we get some type of Boruto data book, but it's surely going to be something that Amato knocks himself for if code does end up killing him off because that sequence could have saved his life however we have to ask ourselves this question as well why was amato so focused on only giving that shutdown code to delta what was so special about delta delta of all people why was she so special to him that's going to depend on which side of the fence you fall on on who is Amato's daughter that he said died 12 years ago. Some say Delta and some say Ada. If it's Delta, it would make sense because the shutdown sequence was a go to sleep command, something akin to what a parent would say to their child. It's not the craziest connection to draw and it would explain why Delta was so different. Her consciousness is uploaded to the drone and she's the only inner member that had that specific modification made to her body. Uploading your consciousness to something like that would imply that the original person was dead or they were looking to preserve their consciousness and the consciousness in a way is their soul which explains why Delta had has three different bodies which as i've said a few times in older videos each body appears to be made as a clone the bodies don't move until the consciousness is uploaded to the body look at how handy something like that could have been for all the car inner members who were defeated if there were clone bodies where their consciousness could have been uploaded after their death but Delta was the only car in a member with that capability. It's something that sticks out and you have to ask yourself why. It has to be something that's special about her to Amato, just like there's something special about Kawaki to Amato as well. This isn't the craziest thing either because we've seen in the comics in particular Marvel, in the Marvel Comics 616 universe, Riri Williams, AKA Ironheart, has an artificial intelligence of Tony Stark that was the reconstruction of Tony Stark's real consciousness. So it's not the biggest leap to think that Amato made something similar here, especially given the technological advancements that the Naruto world has undergone since Kakashi became Hokage and the advancements that have continued since Naruto's become Hokage. Going that far for Delta explains why it was only her that had that shutdown sequence. That being said, if this man had only one shutdown sequence out of all those car and members, it's going to be the biggest idiot move in the entire series because it's going to mean that Amato was arrogant enough to think that he could play this dangerous game of 4D chess with Ishiki to wipe out Jigen, wipe out the car and members, then wipe out Ishiki once he's resurrected and have Kawaki's karma to himself for reasons we don't know yet but reasons that we know are there. But to try and do so while being arrogant enough to think that he could do it without resorting to using such a method, it would mean that his own belief in his own abilities were that high that he was that arrogant he didn't think he needed to stoop to something like this, which if this is true, that's going to be a huge bonehead move. However, that leads us to the question of the video, which is, do you guys think that a model has a shutdown sequence or code, Ada and Damon? Why or why not? While you think those questions over, also consider watching the other videos you see on the screen right now.